Scott State Police say 59 year old Randall Rollison was driving an SUV which ran a stop sign hitting a pickup truck resulting in the death of 71 year old Linda Kramer of South Dayton who was a passenger in the truck driven by her husband Gary. It happened at the intersection of State Route 83 and Center Road in the town of Arkwright Saturday night. It also comes less than a year after Rollison was charged in connection with the death of 15 year old Lexi Hugan who was hit by a tractor trailer while crossing a street in in Jamestown last New Year's Eve, after which Rollison was charged with manslaughter, leaving the scene of a fatal accident and driving while ability impaired, as well as weapons charges for some guns prosecutors say were recovered from his truck. He made bail on those charges, though, and was released in February, sparking a community protest. We're in the process now of preparing an application uh, to go back to uh, Judge Foley, who initially uh, set bail. Our position is, is that he does have the discretion uh, because uh, he's he's now uh, he has been charged and pending against him or what the law refers to as qualifying offenses. So he can now revisit his his uh, his, his bail order. And uh, we are going to be asking him to consider revocation of Mr. Rollison's bail. Rollison is currently hospitalized in Erie, Pennsylvania for the injuries he sustained where he faces surgeries, according to state police, who also say because of that they've yet to be able to question him and thus, as of yet, no tickets have been issued. I just spoke with Lexi Hugan's mother and, as you can imagine, word that Rollison has been involved in another fatal accident as the outcome of the case involving the charges that he caused her daughter's death is still pending is like rubbing salt into a fresh wound. Hear from her tonight at 6. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.